The doctor will be with you in just a moment. Hello, I'm Dr. Doctor. Now, what seems to be the problem? Well, Doc, I feel fine, but when I woke up this morning, I noticed two little bite marks on my wrist. I just wanted to come in and make sure it wasn't a poisonous spider bite or something. Oh no, this is much worse. What do you mean? This looks like the work of... Vampire Gerbil. Uh, wouldn't it be Vampire Gerbils? No, to my knowledge, there is only one. So what does that mean? Please direct your attention to the giant notepad. Since you have been bitten by a vampire gerbil, hypothetically speaking, you become a vampire gerbil man. Now, let's say, hypothetically, that you were to go out into the forest, find a bear, and bite him. Hypothetically speaking, he would become a vampire gerbil man bear. Now, let's say that vampire gerbil man bear were to stumble across upon a farm and bite a swine of the pig persuasion. Then that pig would become a vampire gerbil man bear pig. And if that were to happen, it would be the worst possible thing that could possibly happen at that possible moment in time. Possibly. Hypothetically speaking, of course. So what should I do? You must travel to the Candy Cane Governed Mountains of Iowa. There's only two things come out of Iowa. Vampire gerbils, people from Iowa. Both are equally dangerous. Now, once you've reached this mountain, there will be a cave. And there you'll find a carrot. Take the carrot with you. You'll need to fend off the maddening walrus. If you survive, you'll come to a second cave opening. This is the lair of the vampire gerbil. Here he keeps his most prized possessions. He'll most likely be sleeping. Vampire gerbil sleeps for 72 hours on the hour. What I want you to do, and this is vital, is take his cape, drench it in carrot juice, and rub it all over Vampire Gerbil's body. And that'll kill him? No, it'll probably just piss him off. Then he'll rip out your lungs, inflate them, and use them as pillows. That's disgusting. Actually, it's quite comfortable. Like sleeping on a cloud. Made out of lungs. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go get a second opinion. That's what the last guy said when I told him he was bitten by Bucktooth Weasel Fairies. He never stood a chance. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Nurse, send in my next patient. I'm sorry, Doctor, but he hasn't returned from fighting off the hordes of weasel fairies yet. Damn weasel fairies. That'll be the tenth one this month. 